A brand new tank engine was racing across the island of Sodor. He was very excited, and he didn't want to be late. Thomas and Percy looked at the big tank engine. He was very smart. The three engines were soon at work. Thomas and Percy were bumping freight cars. They knew this was naughty, but they were having fun. He'd never been naughty before. Arthur's first job was to push a trainload of fruit to market. The freight car started to sing. This gave Thomas a naughty idea. Arthur was glad he could keep the freight cars in order. Arthur chuffed cheerfully through the countryside. Soon the freight cars started singing again. The foolish freight cars were cross. If they couldn't sing, they would teach Arthur a lesson instead. Arthur struggled over bridges and he huffed and puffed through tunnels. He came over the top of the big hill. But there was trouble ahead. Duck had stopped at the crossing at the bottom of the hill. Arthur's driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Squashed fruit flew everywhere. Arthur was upset. His spotless record was ruined. Sir Topham Hat was very annoyed. Thomas told Sir Topham Hat what he had done. Harvey arrived with the breakdown train. He could see there was a lot of work to be done. Everyone worked hard, and Thomas took the loaded freight cars away. That evening, Arthur was having the squashed fruit cleaned out of his funnel. <laughs>